and welcome to day 14 of my advent series right you should know by now I'm going to open my box and have a look inside so what have we here well it's a selection of Hoover commercial brochures let's have a closer look at them okay then let's have a look at this Hoover commercial floor cleaning equipment folder let's take all the bits out let's check the folder itself there's nothing there pretty plain isn't it Ooh. on the back we've got the product of experience so i think this dates from around the 90s in fact i've just noticed it says 1992 on the price list let's look at this small brochure first hoover commercial the complete works so there we have a C1310 lightweight commercial upright. That's obviously based on the old Senior. And I've got one of those. I don't think you've seen that on the channel yet. I've got a new in the box one of those to show you. So that's going to be coming up next year. And underneath we've got what Tuva used to call the Conquest, not to be confused with the Cylinder Conquest. Uh, I'm sure they were called the Conquest in this country. But they, I had one of those, but it was in orange, all orange. They were very big, effective vacuums and dirty fan cleaners as well. In fact, all these are dirty fan cleaners that are on the front page. So I've got the U7069 and then the U7071 with the wide sweep. Then, very rare, I've never seen one. Don't know if any collectors have got, so I'm sure some collectors have one of these. It's a C1314 tools attached upright. So that's obviously a commercial Turbo Master. So it looks like it's based on the regular TurboMaster with the uh, no auto cord rewind, no electronic control. And then this one, the C1312, I think uh, Ryan on his channel, U5080, has got one of these. Pretty sure, or it's very similar. I used to have one, but not in that colour scheme, not in the um, orange and brown and cream. Mine was just uh, black and had a sort of metal hood and a big black bumper. They called it the indestructible heavy duty upright. And it's certainly, you could certainly throw that about. I'd like to see one of these people who do these videos destroying vacuums, destroying one of those. They would be able to destroy it, but it would certainly take a bit longer than destroying a Chinese-made Plastivac. So inside we've got, uh, not as interesting to me and maybe not to you, we've got some disc polishers, single disc machines and some vac air machine so they would vacuum up the bits as well as polishing the floors and then we've got some uh, ride-on sweepers at the bottom as well as some push-along battery powered sweepers and then scrubber dryers there and they well they did a petrol powered one can you believe that had a Briggs and Stratton engine a three horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine there and then another petrol one uh, C5140. On the other side we've got these. These are based on the Aqua Plus and Aqua Masters, the Hoover commercial tanks and there's the small one, the C2702. That was We have the Hoover module but uh, all these have the fixed handle. The earlier Hoover wet dries had uh, a folding handle. So we've got the tank, heavy duty tank cleaners, then we've got carpet soil extractors. Look at those. Very uh, industrial looking. So that's it for that little brochure. And we've got some A4 size ones now. So we've got this big one here, look. Hoover Commercial means business. And it says, did you know that Hoover Commercial Upright Cleaners can lift up to 25% more dirt from carpets than suction only cleaners? And so there we go. So opening up, lovely brochure this. We've got uh, the C1310, that's got a bag. I think the one I've got is a shakeout uh, bag, which is a bit of a shame. It doesn't have the disposable bag. I expect, hopefully I could get some sort of fitting to change it. Then we've got, of course, the C1312. So you had the choice of an agitator that had the beats as it sweeps, as it cleans, or you could have a four brush groomer for low profile carpets, like carpet tiles where you don't need a beating action. Then we've got the U7069 and the U7071 Deluxe and Deluxe Wide Sweep. Oh, they're lovely. I'd love a new in the box one of those. Fantastic. Excellent. And they've got the heavy 
particle trap that was supposed to trap heavy items from damaging the fan such as paper clips and nails etc and on the back page again we've got the uh, hoover commercial turbo power turbo master sorry and this one had 10 meters of cable same wattage 575 watt motor and built-in air freshener i don't suppose that was ever replaced if it was used in a commercial environment there is the date on here so this is from 1992 the next leaflet in this pack, I had one of these, in fact I had two, I had this red one shown and I also had a black one, I had one with a headlight too, I'm sure I did, or possibly not. This is, um, I think this is, was an American based clean, American version, uh, based on the Elite. Anyway, this is the C1409 Hoover Commercial, pretty good cleaner really, but uh, quite poor suction with the tools as far as I remember. And on the other side there, we've got a lady stretching up. She won't get much further than that. This cleaner certainly wouldn't have cleaned up the stairs with that hose, but it did have a stair cleaning handle, so you could actually use the machine in upright mode on the stairs. You can see it's got the small tools. Low noise, mm, I think, uh, well, maybe a bit quieter than some models, but not, not very low noise. 10 meter cable. This will be 92 as well, yes, 92, and a built-in air freshener, but this one used a little, looked like um, um, an extra strong mint. If you know what Oric um, air fresheners look like, those little round things, I think that's a similar air freshener to what you could fit in this C1409. Now we've got another brochure about choosing the right cleaner showing the different agitators at the top. And then we've got again the C1310 and we've got the C3284. Now that model, I'd love one of those, but you can still get more or less that same model. I think it's the Nilfisk, I've seen it, or Nilco. Nilco or Nilfisk, one or the other. I've seen that still available. You could rent that type of machine as well from dry cleaners back in the day. And uh, then we've got, I had one of these, I sold it to another collector, the C2808 tank suction cleaner. And then of course you've got the uh, high powered deluxe upright cleaner there. And there's a sale hotline 09937713337. And they were based in Whitney back in the day. I don't think Hoover in the UK do commercial vacuums anymore. And then, not very interesting, but we'll show it for completeness, the chemical range, showing all the different chemicals that you could get. Polish remover, semi-buffable polish, high solids, metallized polish, multi-purpose -bac multi bacterial, bactericidal, <laughs> can't get my tongue around that, <laughs> multi-purpose bactericidal possibly. Floor maintainer. And at the back we've got the degreaser maintainer and carpet fiber cleaner. Next one, the tank cleaner range, including the Futura. I've seen a, a video of that, an old video of a Futura somewhere on YouTube. You can search that and you'll see it for yourself. So opening up we've got the C2808, the 9 litre dry, I'm sure that, that is the one I had. Then we've got the C2818, which is a bigger capacity and with a metal bin. Then we've got the Futura, I think these were twin motored. Yes, two 950 watt motors in that. But it looks like you could control them independently. Look at that, a 30 litre dust bag. And then there's an optional micro filter. So that's C2736 and then we've got C2734, Futura 2000, a wet dry machine. So that would be used for drying a floor, possibly after it's been scrubbed with another machine. Unless they had a scrubber dryer, obviously that does both jobs. Or you could use it, I expect you could use that for dry as well, couldn't you? Yes, it's a dry pickup too. And I suspect you could connect the hose to the end and use it for above floor cleaning too. Again, twin motored. Then we've got C27, sorry, C2378, another wet dry. And then C2482, a trolley mounted with a fixed squeegee. And then C2380, wet and dry pickup tank cleaner. 
ideal for large areas such as factories or warehouses and on the back we've got the more domestic looking ones the lightweight dry pickup tank and the lightweight wet and dry pickup tank cleaners all Hoover commercial vacuum cleaners are manufactured from the highest grade materials to the highest possible standards well they probably were back then and finally for the this brochure be interesting possibly for you to see how much Hoover were charging for these cleaners back in December 1992 so you could buy the dual purpose lightweight tools attached you could buy it unassembled for £140.43 that's excluding VAT but if you wanted it assembled it would cost you £149.95 the indestructible with the cloth bag and agitator would be £314.95 and the big wide deluxe high powered would be £399.95 and from the tanks £95 for the small one 9 litre dry pickup and then there's one at, well, the Futura, the big Futura would be £475 plus VAT. And the carpet soil extractors, that small one, the 10 litre one, that would have been £314.95. And the big carpet master automatic soil extractor would set a company back £1,125. And finally on the back, we've got some prices for the single disc machines. Costing from 155 up to 838 pounds. Then the prices of the chemicals, 18 pound eight for the polish remover, and for the degreaser, 39.83. And finally, the pedestrian sweeper scrubber dryers. A pedestrian sweeper, I think that was like a hand-powered thing. That would cost 46195. Or you could go for the scrubber dryer battery. For two hundred, oh, sorry, two thousand four hundred and fourteen ninety-five. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking through those brochures with me. Tune in tomorrow for another Advent video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you well tomorrow. Bye for now.